If it feeds you, feed it. If it bleeds you, get away from it. So I was doing the wrong things. Here's my new analogy of what I was doing. And, and I really believe this. I saw a, a thing from Einstein today about, I'm gonna read this off to you guys. Uh, I, I love quotes and quotes to Einstein is always one of the best, but it says, uh, everything is energy and all that there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. If you could be no other way, this is not philosophy, this is physics. It's on my wall. She's right. <laughs> so here's the problem, and, I, and I, I nailed it with this. You turn on, you, I have teenage daughters. I turn on the radio and I'm listening to Steel Pulse or something that I like, you know, Pharrell's happy song. <laughs> and then the girls switch the station to some song that I don't like, right? A negative vibe yeah. song. I don't like the words. <laughs> I don't like the music as much. I don't listen to that song. I mean, it, I fight. If I have to listen to, the, to it once, I'll allow it because I'm a good dad. I sacrifice for my kids. Right. But it seriously bugs me. Do you guys, yeah. so does, it bugs you, right? Yeah. It bugs you. Would you listen to that song all day? No. It would be almost physically impossible for me to, that's how much it would bug me. And then would you do it all week? If I told you, hey, eight hours today, you got to listen to that song. No. It would almost be Chinese torture, hey. like water dripping on your forehead. Exhausting. Yeah. What I believe people do is they're, sur and I don't know why they do it, they're surrounding themselves with bad songs. And it makes them feel bad. And yet, it's not as apparent because the vibration of song is so easy to be aware of mm -hmm. that we're around people that don't make us feel good the same way a song doesn't oh, make us yeah. feel good. Stay around it. Oh God, for a lifetime sometimes. <laughs> well, you, that's, I was just, I had a conversation with a friend that it's, it's that guilt that you don't want to hurt their feelings. It's a frequency, yeah. like he says it's physics. So two years before my bankruptcy, I was surrounded by bad music. <laughs> that's beautiful. Bad music, man. And, and I wouldn't change the station. So my wife told me to change the station, right? To change the station. The best advice you can give to your children is be, you show me your friends and I'll show you your future. So change the station, I changed the station, started meditating, started doing all the things. So although the bankruptcy was mo most hard on my wife and my children because of all the shit that happened, the reason I went bankrupt was an evolution because I surrounded myself with bad music and I became a bad transmitter, right? I'm receiving bad music yeah. and giving out bad music. So I started making bad assumptions, not paying attention, my awareness went way down because my vibration went way down. When your awareness is up, you're like, oh, bad music. Mm -hmm. When your awareness is up, you're like, you know what, maybe I should go ask for help or I should look more into this because what if the banks, I had you know, a portfolio over $100 million, I just assumed the bank would let me borrow. <laughs> I let my ego get in the way in lawsuits. I had friends that were manipulating me. I allowed them to, I was accountable. Bad music, bad music, bad music. And I had to go through a transformation. So that transformation was occurring. By the time the bankruptcy happened, the hardest part was telling my mom I lost her house. And also working through yeah. all the ego-based things of shame, blame, justification, which took another nine years of getting out of that realm of completely exactly. energetically yeah. like, being accountable. I used yeah. to lie to people, go, best thing that are, like, you know, you've heard me say it, say it. Yeah. I, yeah. I would say it, I was coaching myself. Sometimes I felt like that. Yeah. but. Like one of the guys I was in a lawsuit with, I can't, like I remember going home and we saw him somewhere and, and I, I was like, you know, the Judah Buddha that I was becoming. I'm like, oh, I pray for his happiness, which I did. Uh, best thing ever happened to me. And, but like inside, Still didn't oh my God, no. And then I got home and I like had a dream about pulling off his fingernails and putting Tabasco <laughs> on it. You know, like there was some anger there. <laughs> I'm bit. human. But now, like, and later on, just so you know, the same guy I saw him at a football game and with pure energy, I went up to him and I'm like, man, I just have, and he was terrified. Really? He was ready for a sucker punch. Yeah. I was like, dude, I just want to tell you, thank you so much. You changed my life nice. with that pure energy. And you felt he didn't. Oh yeah. I felt, I didn't, I didn't care about his fingernails, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't cringe from the touch of his hand. Yeah. It was really, so I don't make bad decisions and neither do you. 
what I believe is through awareness, by doing the right things, by playing the right music, which are books, podcasts, people, you know, all the things that you surround yourself. It's just not a, as easy to understand as music. Right. So I started playing all the right music. So I play that Pharrell Happy song because yeah. I love that song. Yeah. I, I heard it the first time before it was famous and it just hit me. Yeah. And I just love, so like, song. I picked up two miles. minutes. I do three miles. I picked up two minutes. Faster? You mean more faster? In a yeah. mile? <laughs> three miles. Three miles. Oh, I was going to say, I won't run. I won't run. If I push too, if I push too hard, right. I'll pull the hammy. Yeah. And then you're not running at all. But I was running hard. I, I was like, this is weird. Thing. I feel right, like right, the right, first right, mile right, was a whole right. minute faster. The first mile. Damn. And I'm like, slow down, slow down. Like, but no, I sped it up even to another half minute for each. It is, but all because the vibration. So then. What happened was I was with the girls and they put on, I don't know, the, I won't say the musician's name, but I, it was like Adam's literally, experience. it was like literally when I saw that guy that I was in the lawsuit with. That was like, how you felt. I when, felt he the, turned, when he turned the music on, that's how you felt. The bad music, the bad song. I'm so curious and what song it was. Yeah, I wouldn't know the name because I don't, I have no interest in it. It doesn't exist to me. I don't know the name of the song, but it was really bad. And it, it was negative and it's like cringeworthy. Oh God, I love it. Um, and so I, st I started going, why do I surround myself with the wrong music? Why did I do this? Why? But secondly is the assumptions. One of the key lessons that I learned from it is I make good decisions. That, ma that max majority of the people make good decisions. What do we do? We make bad assumptions. Usually we make bad assumptions because we don't ask for help. So I made a bad assumption that I could borrow against my equity. Little did I know that banks would rather keep my property than let me borrow it at that time because they were going under. So, you know, put yourself in the shoes of a banker. I got this property with $40 million of equity. Why would I give you any of it if my bank's going under? I'm under no obligation to let you borrow it. Right. Go find another bank to let you. And guess right. what? The other banks weren't in a good position and they weren't letting me borrow it because they felt that 40 million in equity was gonna be yeah, less. Yeah. And they'd rather take the chance that, hey, we're gonna foreclose on this property if you don't make your payments and try to get out of it at a profit. Wow. And I did, in, even in my bankruptcy, that people got out of my properties with profits. Uh, but I needed, a, I needed a new station, a new whole setup, frequency. I always say you are what you eat, read, and who you hang out with, and I believe that. You're right, and I tell you too, for that reason, if it feeds you, feed it. If it bleeds you, get away from it. It's a bad song. 